It feels like a solid hunk of steel. And that's how you get started. Welcome to Motos, Cades, and Coffee. Good afternoon, chap. I'm here to talk about my Royal Enfield, but not my Himalayan. I'm here to talk about my Royal Enfield Bullet. Wow. Classically styled, raring to go. Now we're going to take a little look around, a full walk around of everything that I know about this Royal Enfield Bullet. Um, yeah, let's go take a look. There's a 2007 Royal Enfield Bullet 500 carbureted. I believe it's the last year carbureted. You got your battery in there. You have your fuel. That's, you can't read the writing anymore. That's off. That's reserve. That's on. Got your idle adjust, tick over adjust right there. It has a sprung seat. It's really interesting to get used to. You kind of wobble around. Drum brakes rear, drum brakes forward. You got lights that turn on there, I believe, there they are. You have a kick start and a choke, which I have not had to use once I've changed the gas. There's your air filter right there. Uh, I completely forget what's in here. I'll go over the controls now. Oh, there's your single bullet exhaust looking thing. Single exhaust. Not sure of the fuel tank size, but there's, there's no fuel gauge. This is for your lights on and off. There's your starter. On, and here's your turn signals horn. That's for release of the kickstand, so it turns over easier. And this is your passing light. 2,740 miles. 80 is about the top speed I've been able to see. Um, gets up there fairly quickly. It gets up to 60 fairly quickly. Anything above that is uh, a drain. It takes a while. And then an ammeter. Uh, I'll give you kick start procedures here in a second. Okay, kick start procedures. Kick stand up. Turn the bike on. Put the on button of the engine run. Put the kick stand so the ammeter drops a little bit. You'll see it. Then the ammeter goes back to neutral. Oh, didn't even mean to do that, but uh, that's how easy it kick start. Again, the first thing you want to do is turn it on. Make sure this is on. Kick stand up. Here's your uh, decompression. And there's your amp meter. Well, you're supposed to just put it back so it comes up to about right there. Now you're supposed to kick it over. That's how easy it is. And then you just put it back. That's it.
start the Royal Enfield and I'll give you my thoughts on it as we drive. It's real simple, it vibrates like crazy, it has adequate power. I think it's classically styled. I feel like I'm James Dean or someone from the 40s, 50s, 60s. It's pretty cool looking. Brakes are pretty poor, as you can imagine, but uh, seems pretty robust, really heavy feel. Even though I'll have to look up how much it weighs. It's pretty agile around in a parking lot, but on the road, it's not as agile as some of the others I've had out there. Um, very solid suspension. Uh, the bumps are actually pretty decent. It takes the bumps pretty decent. And it sounds fantastic. Seating position is amazing on it. I love it. The seating position is great. You sit um, straight upright. The bars are great. The feet are very comfortable on the knees. Um, and yeah, I think it can be pretty good. Again, there's a light switch right there. Light switch, high beams, low beams. Mirrors are only adequate. I'll have to adjust a little bit, I think. Idles right along. If you're not gonna wheelie at all, it has enough torque to snap you off. The gear shifts are actually really smooth. Um, however, you can miss some gears. Like, even in the higher gears, you can have false neutrals in between them. Handle is really nice, low speed. Pretty heavy for what it is. Drum brake, you gotta stop really early. It does have a kickstand neutral safety switch. And I like the fact that it has a, a center stand. So what do I think of the Bullet 500? Let me uh, put it on its, its center stand. You'll see how easy that is. It's really nice. So it's pretty simple to get off on here. That's nice. So it feels like a solid hunk of steel. It's really short. All its mass is right in the middle. It doesn't transition. It's not really sporty left to right. The get up and go is not immediate. The carburetor is not a, doesn't have an accelerator pump. So it doesn't really have an amazing throttle response. When it goes, it does get up and go. It has some power, it has some torque, especially down low for a single cylinder thumper but it's not as fast as some of uh, the other more modern bikes. Um, it's very nimble in a parking lot, but again, when you get on the road, it's very heavy. It feels very heavy, but that can play to a benefit because it soaks up the bumps very nicely. It feels like you go over very heavy potholes very nicely, and it feels very planted to the ground. So that's a positive. Again, the drum brakes are a pain. You gotta really plan your stops and uh the looks on it are fantastic it has a little luggage rack right here which i think is very handy um you could put a passenger seat pretty easy on there overall it's a pretty interesting and nice bike a little break from the the norm so hopefully you like that and if you want to see more please like and subscribe and i'll get some more videos out on this one